Hi everyone, I am SS Kiran. I would like to discuss about a special semiconductor diodes. Subject name is Electronic Devices and Circuits. Previous videos, I have discussed about JNR diode characteristics, breakdown mechanisms in JNR diode, and JNR diode applications, LED, photodiode, and water diode. In this video, I will discuss about tunnel diode and SCR. Okay. Uh, just uh, I will show whatever I have discussed in the previous videos just see here you can understand I have provided links in my description just to go through it I have provided PDF notes also in my description just please download it okay these are these some characteristics of JNR diode some breakdowns mechanisms in JNR diode characteristics diagram of the JNR diode okay some theory about avalanche breakdown and JNR breakdown applications of JNR diode Inner diode and circuit diagram and symbol uh, some operation about light emitting diode uh, principle of light emitting diode circuit diagram of light emitting diode LED symbol of LED some st structural symbol of LED okay uh, the next uh, photodiode characteristics so circuit diagram photodiode uh, these are all uh, one more battery diode also have discussed in the previous videos right right now in this video uh, I will discuss about tunnel diode okay before going to the tunnel diode a small introduction about the tunnel diode the tunnel diode is a form of very fast semiconductor diode that can be operate well into the microwave radio frequencies region okay who invented this tunnel diode uh, Isaki he is a uh, he was a research student at the time of 1958s that's why tunnel diode is also called Isaki diode okay this tunnel diode uh, junction junction diode junction width is very thin okay that's why which is exhibit some negative res uh, resistance under law forward bias condition A every diode we can uh, check we can observe the characteristics in forward bias and reverse bias coming to the forward bias it uh, exhibits some negative uh, resistance okay uh, that's why some special diode also okay uh, powerful diode okay this tunnel diode uh, is also called Isaki diode a thin junction diode I will underline the points see here a tunnel diode or Isaki diode is a thin junction diode which exhibits a negative resistance under forward bias condition okay very important one okay uh, see uh, this tunnel diode uh, I mean designed by PhD research student named Asaki that's why it uh, named as a Asaki diode also uh, why uh, this uh, happened that much of property because of the diode uh, was doped uh, very heavily okay while investigating the properties of Isaki by Isaki uh, he heavily doped uh, that uh, germanium junctions uh, that's why uh, it will get uh, immediate conduction and slowly uh, reached some value point based on the doping concentration so compare with ordinary PN junction diode and tunnel diode, ordinary PN junction diode lightly doped but coming to tunnel diode this is heavily doped. Due to this uh, dope, high doping concentration, uh, very thin junction diode, uh, junction, junction width is very very thin, okay, right. See these characteristics you can understand, okay when just you have to apply the forward bias around 0 0.1 not only 0 0.1 just if you can give the power supply immediately starts the conduction see here at one point it starts the some decreasing okay uh, so, so you can see the operation okay you can understand how it will be get uh, this uh, um, valley point and this uh, uh, peak voltage okay right now an ordinary PN junction diode has an impurity concentration about one part to the power of eight. Coming to this one, the uh, that will have a very thin uh, layer, uh, but this one, one part to the power of eight, the divide characteristics are completely changed compared with ordinary PN junction diode. 
the diode characteristics are completely changed in the tunnel diode okay uh, see here one more point the VA characteristics for a, a physical germanium tunnel diode is shown in the figure right the above figure uh, that voltage is increased uh, uh, first forward current raises very sharply see here the forward current uh, raised very sharply applied the voltage is increased when it would have uh, some point uh, slowly and ordinary pn junction sometimes it's also uh, slowly you understand here uh, rise in and at the same time decreased also okay now this is the characteristics of ordinary pn junction diode so uh, just if you see the ordinary pn junction diode we get the characteristics like this but here but just you have applied the voltage just you given the power supply forward bias immediately starts the conduction and uh, doing some uh, electrons uh, uh, recombination at that one point again it starts the uh, decreasing okay again it will start the increasing okay based on the uh, doping concentrations okay uh, just this operation this explanation most of them we can understand by using energy band diagram okay uh, many times uh, in end examinations asked explain the tunnel diode explain the tunnel diode using energy band diagram okay that's why you have to concentrate energy band diagram also at the same time you get some knowledge how it will be get uh, peak value and uh, this one that is called valley voltage how it will be get peak voltage and valley voltage how this is happened this negative resistance region also okay uh, here uh, tunnel diode is uh, getting some effect that affecting is called tunneling effect okay i will show the uh, pn diode ordinary pn junction diode energy band diagram just you will uh, get some clarity about the tunnel diode uh, energy band diagram this is energy band diagram of ordinary pn diode see here i already explained many times okay uh, this is a p type right uh, this is n type okay up to here this uh, see on once again i will draw uh, this is p type this is some gap this is n type here uh, valence, valence band is very large here in n type conduction band is very large so based on this uh, diagram uh, this starts the correct condition and recombination like this same phenomena we can apply it in the tunnel diode also there is a three condition for tunnel diode okay see here the first condition is see here under one by one zeros bias voltage means without giving any external power supply just given only zero power supply without start even even at least 0 0.01 also in not can just start point is zero bias voltage the second one is peak voltage the third one is valley voltage the three conditions are very important to understand the characteristics of tunnel diode okay actually what happened here see here first this is same as uh, energy band diagram of ordinary pn junction diode see here uh, there is some uh, shaded space here there is a shaded space here here there is a shaded space here i think it's not it not possible to recombine with uh, this p n and p okay okay even not recombine with electrons and holes based on this theory we get zero current and this condition now if you apply the uh, forward bias what happened shaded space has been decreased now this uh, compared with shaded space now shaded space is decreased in this condition there is a possibility recombine with holes and electrons there is expecting it is constitute some current now it is very easily to travel or tunneling from n to p so because of this reason we can also call the tunnel effect okay moving of electrons from n side to p side okay recombination of n, n and p regions charge carriers it constitutes some current okay see here uh, uh, there is uh, i mean minimize this uh, uh, sh shaped area now it's very easy to move the charge carriers okay this is the explanation based on energy diagram 
Now again further increasing of the forward bias. Now again what happened some very uh, recombination and some collisions due to that reason. Again uh, shaded pa path is increasing. See here shaded path is increasing. Now again it has some pro pro problem. Okay. Now, what happened here? Now again it slowly decreases the characteristics. Okay. Uh, this is the operation by using energy band diagram. Okay, I mean I will uh, read one by one so you can get the some clarity. So tunneling from see here, tunneling from N side to P side. So tunneling from N side to P side. Okay, tunneling in other direction is not possible because the valency band electrons on the P side now opposite to the forbidden energy gap on N side. It's not possible from here to here because see the theory valency band electrons uh, on the P side are on opposite term the forbidden energy gap on the N side. So due to this reason it is not possible. See the uh, middle figure peak voltage. So at the time we get some maximum voltage that voltage we can call it as a peak voltage here. This is the peak voltage. Okay. I will show the diagram. I will draw the diagram. See here. Okay. We just given the power supply even the input voltage is sharp increasing so this one this one we can call it as a peak voltage right so again it starts the decreasing this one we can call it as a valley okay right see here the second diagram it can be shown as a peak voltage okay the energy band diagram shown in the figure uh, above figure right uh, so for the peak of the diode characteristics same same peak of the diode characteristics okay good now what happened when the forward bias raised beyond this point again how to increasing the forward bias what happened tunneling will decrease as the shown in figure 2.6 now what happened tunneling it's now decrease this is means some tunneling there is a more channel it has a more possibility to uh, current conduction to do the current conduction here what happened tunneling tunneling is reduced okay this point is mentioned in this theory okay and then the forward bias is raised beyond how uh, how it will be observed see here voltage slowly voltage is varied what happened the zero we get increasing at 50 millivolts we get some peak value so what happened again further increasing again further increasing the voltage it again touches this zero okay so increasing of the forward bias due to this operation okay now energy of the p side is now uh, depressed further depressed means some decreased so depressed very important point when the result that uh, fewer uh, conduction by electrons on the n side are opposite to the uh, unoccupied piece energy levels as the bits rise from the forward current drops so at the, this point is trying to uh, drops the forward current drops the forward current this drop nothing but a negative uh, resistance region i will show the diagram very important concept this is called negative uh, resistance region if it is a if it is b a can be called uh, peak voltage b can be called valley voltage this region we can call it as a negative resistance region very important okay good now what happened okay uh, this uh, correspondence to the negative resistance region just now inform it to you this correspondence to this correspondence to a b region we can call it as a negative resistance region right now we will uh, see uh, some equivalent circuits okay see here the equivalent circuit of the tunnel diode as shown in the following figure negative terminal uh, reason as shown in the figure see here the symbol of the uh, tunnel diode so this looks like a t tunnel so ordinary pn diode ordinary pn diode it looks like a tunnel t see here t okay good shown in figure in the circuit as shown in the fix series uh, now the equal circuit means in the some resistance is series with the inductor and one more resistance is parallel with capacitor this is nothing but equivalent circuit i think it very easy just see here you can understand 
what are the applications of renal diode as a microwave oscillator renal diode is used on the ultra high speed switches something okay it can be used as a relaxation oscillator circuit very important the best application of renal diode is it can be used as a oscillation some you want to relaxation oscillator circuit okay that is these are the applications okay thermal diode is also called isaki diode it starts the conduction just you can given the power supply at one point again it's decreasing or depressing something whatever it is that i think to worry okay uh, based on this characteristics if you asked any question they you have to explain by using energy band diagram only that is very mandatory so compare with uh, three regions the zero bias region and uh, there is a less tunneling area in peak voltage uh, how it will get because of a large tunneling area coming to value voltage uh, it does not have any uh, little bit tunneling area that's why we can expect uh, uh, decreasing of the uh, current okay based on this operation uh, based on this energy band diagram only you have to explain this answer okay at the same time you have to draw this diagram also very important okay very important one we get peak value okay we get uh, uh, valley voltage and next this these three points are very important for to draw in the characteristics of tunnel diode okay now our next a special a semiconductor diode is called a cr what is a cr a cr is also stands for a silicon controlled rectifier okay what SCR stands for? SCR stands for a, a silicon control rectifier. It can be used as a rectifier in many electrical power supply circuits. Okay. Because of uh, by applying gate voltage, we can adjust the power supplies also. We will see how it will be working. Okay. See here, this is also called a thyristor. A thyristor or a silicon control rectifier is absolutely. See, very important compared with ordinary PN junction head. This is it is a four layer three terminal semiconductor device. Its terminals name anode, cathode, and gate. Based on our previous and past experience, how to define this silicon control rectifier? A silicon control rectifier is a, a four layer three terminal semiconductor device, namely anode, cathode and gate by adjusting the gate voltage vary the currents okay this is adjusting the gate voltage vary the currents okay uh, slowly you can understand okay what is the operation and construction and everything okay now uh, some basic biasing concept uh, anode is taken uh, taken out from the uh, outer p tape material see here i will show the diagram you can understand and the cathode is taken uh, from the outer end layer okay uh, see here uh, there is a two layers uh, one is uh, p type material second one is n type material see here uh, this is p type material so we can connect to the anode this is the taken out this n type material taken out this can be considered as a cathode very important okay and between uh, two regions are behind that is n and p so if this is a four terminal sorry three terminal a semiconductor device and four regions okay here there is a three uh, three junctions uh, j1 j2 j3 okay in between j3 and uh, j2 uh, sorry here I written J4 J3 and J2 a terminal is taken is called gate gate terminal is connected to near the cathode terminal okay this is a four layer three terminal semiconductor device namely anode and cathode coming to structural A is connected to nearer to P outer P region and is connected to outer uh, cathode sorry cathode is connected to outer end region at uh, these two junctions j2 and j3 we can take gate terminal okay connected near the cathode terminal near to cathode 
the SCR is also called a unidirectional device. Very important. Unidirectional. See here, this is some physical diagram and circuit diagram of the SCR. When the anode uh, positive with respect to the cathode, see here, I will explain the operation. This anode terminal is connected to positive, cathode is connected to negative. What happened? So, now, now again, you have to concentrate about the gate. See here, some switch is there. Okay. What happened? When the S is open, open means that this is not connected. See here. SC is open means not connected. If it is short means it has to be connected. If it is open, just you have to check how the characteristics uh, or came. See here, you can understand. Okay. Now, when the anode positive with respect to the cathode, for the applied voltage, uh, applied input voltage, when the SC is open, as shown in the following figure. See here, as shown in the following figure. Okay. Open. The junction J1 and J3 forward, absolutely. So, if A is connected to positive, means this K is connected to negative, this can be treated as a forward bias, absolutely. Then, what about this J2? This J2 can be treated as reverse bias. See here, you can understand. Okay. Uh, the junction J1 and J3 are forward bias, and junction J3 will be reverse bias due to power surplus. Uh, many times I discussed in the previous session. Just I have provided links also. Just you go through it, you can understand, right? What happened? A small leakage current will flow from the anode to cathode. What happened if reverse bias is connected as a PN to the page and it gets some reverse saturation current due to the minority charger carriers. That is the point of second one. Okay. A small leakage current will flow from an anode to cathode. So, the thyrist is said to be in a forward blocking state or off state because of reverse bias this can be called as a blocking state very important there is a two states one is the blocking state of as an off state if it is off again it will start again it will get on stage now what happened by increasing the voltage between anode and cathode terminals to the reverse bias junction j2 you know if we, there is a there is a most of the chances if increasing the reverse bias immediately it will be affected by the breakdown what type of breakdown we can expect now uh, avalanche breakdown uh, due to some avalanche multiplication factors okay we can expect this uh, avalanche breakdown due to some collisions okay mm. And it vary the which junction will be break uh, breakdown is called the forward break uh, over voltage. See here, a very important one is the forward blocking state, and uh, further increasing. So we get one more than one more area that is called forward break over voltage. These two points are very important. Next one one point also will come. Just check here. It leads to a large current will flow uh, uh, from anode to cathode. Okay. Why uh, known as the forward anode current and SCR is said to be an on state. Okay. Uh, wh when it will be get on state, just simply what happened here by increasing the voltage between anode to cathode, terminals to the reverse bias joint, J2 will break down, uh, known as avalanche breakdown. A uh, voltage which uh, junction J2 will break down is called the forward breakdown voltage. Okay, it um, leads to large current will flow uh, from I anode to cathode. Here, anode to cathode, known as forward anode current. Absolutely, and the SCR is said to be an on state. In the previous state SCR become a off state due to further increasing of reverse bias. Now it uh, comes into a on state. Right. Now, once SCR uh, states conducting it behaves as a normal uh, diode and no control for the current flow. Okay, see here, you can understand. One starts the conducting, it behaves as a. On. So, this is the some uh, characteristics of uh, SCR. Okay, there is a two types of currents one is latching current and the second one holding current. Okay, holding means this is called holding. This can be called as a hold. This one is the, uh, this can be called as a hold current. 
okay this can be treated as a latching current right so when when it will be again star half n is c you can understand okay now we can start with latching current it is a maximum anode current required by thyristor to make is an on state so the maximum anode current can be called as a latching current so this is the uh, latching current right the maximum anode current the maximum anode current required by thyristor makes an on state so what about holding current some theory just you have to see here you can understand it is the minimum anode current required to maintain the thyristor is on state so that is maximum let's say it maintain the on state this is also mi minimum anode current uh, sorry minimum anode current required by thyristor to make an on state it is the minimum anode current required to maintain thyristor as an on state okay very important okay now to cathode the current over the thyristor when the forward current is more than latching current forward current is more than the latching current absolutely okay in more than latching current the switch s is closed if for example if a switch s is closed here what happened just vary the biasing so it's uh, turn up into the reverse bias to forward bias c here uh, first j1 j3 are acting as reverse bias now j2 is the forward bias just now i said okay the current will reduce from the maximum value to minimum value what happened the current will again reduce to the maximum value to minimum value and reduce it to critical breakdown level this is known as a reverse blocking of state so based on this theory it comes into a maximum minimum to maximum again maximum to minimum that is nothing but reverse blocking current see here this is the reverse blocking this is the reverse blocking at the same time this is the reverse leakage current okay this is the holding current this is the latching current this is the forward blocking okay this is the forward blocking this is the forward leakage current so very important these are all currents are very important okay just connecting the uh, biasings okay when we will get this reverse block blocking just uh, if it is switch is connected to short s is connected to short we can expect this reverse blocking what about if s is not connected like this okay some forward blocking forward leakage current and the holding current and latching current latching current is nothing but the maximum current okay anode current required by the thyristor to make it on state holding current means this is also minimum anode current required to be maintains the thyristor is on state our final question final answer is it can be act as on state okay i think you can understand little bit just you can go through it my notes definitely you can understand all the topics okay uh, just i have discussed about tunnel diagram tunnel diode with energy band diagram is very important okay this is scr scr is a uh, four layers uh, three junction three terminals semiconductor device this uh, controlled by gate terminal that's why it is called a silicon controlled rectifier okay sometimes it's maintained some constant voltage also due to applications okay right this is the operation of the tunnel uh, tunnel diode and uh, this is called scr okay thank you so much in my description i have provided previous links and notes also thank you so much go through it thank you